Welcome to Quant Minds International in Vienna. I'm Joanna Simpson. Joining me now is Lara Barlotta, Reader in Financial Mathematics at Cass Business School. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for having me here. And uh, just tell me, how do you see climate change impacting quantitative finance? Well, climate change is, of course, uh, causing um, a lot of challenges and um, a lot of changes to our society the way we know it. And of course, uh, these are expensive um, um, challenges to face. So I believe that there is room for quantitative finance, uh, you know, to stand up and support uh, uh, these um, these changes by providing, I don't know, innovative solutions for um, funding the changes. So this is where I think there is a lot of work to be done. And of course your research uh, looks into ski resorts as an exemplary industry that's been dealing with adverse weather conditions. Um, so just tell me, what support can the quant community offer to that sort of thing? Well, um, they can provide the product knowledge, for example. So maybe weather derivatives are a very useful tool for stabilizing profit uh, year on year, so that it becomes easier for this uh, operator to invest uh, in all the adaptive strategies that they are looking into, whether those are technological strategies like snow making, for example, or old-fashioned diversification, so transform themselves into all-season uh, resources. But as I said, these are um, strategies that require a significant financial investment. So hedging against um, uh, climate risk is important and this is where we can do more and probably we also have the obligation to do more. So what do you think quantitative finance should be doing? It should come up with innovative solutions, really. And a lot is already being made. For example, I was reading about um, the CO2 token, which is a cryptocurrency um, that allows for the trading of carbon credits. So, um, you know, uh, who buys those credits can offset their own carbon footprint, whilst instead the zero emission producer can monetize on their good behavior so that they can um, invest more um, in their own good behavior itself. So this is one example for it. But as I was saying, whether derivatives are another solution, of course. But what is really important is that um, quantitative finance uh, does not ignore the um, the environmental impact uh, of choices that are made uh, and the environmental issues that are out there. And it's very topical, of course, at the moment. Very, very, very topical. <laughs> Lara Bolletta, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>